my name is Chris Jordan. I'm an application engineer with Trimac out of the Knoxville, Tennessee office. And today we're going to be looking at a tool that everyone has. It's included in every seat of SolidWorks and it's called DriveWorks Express. So DriveWorks is for creating new parts uh, that are the same but different. So you may think that configurations kind of solve this role, but configurations are limited. They are limited in, in that we need to live in a single part. We sometimes might need hundreds of different configurations. For an extrusion like this, we may need uh, for a weldment or for certain assemblies or to send out customers who are creating the extrusion ourselves. Uh, we may need to customize this a little more and not have to jump in and create a new configuration every time we have a new design requirement. So DriveWorks is going to create an actual new part instead of a configuration. So let's take a look at what that looks like. To access DriveWorks Express, it's going to be under Tools, Express Products, and DriveWorks Express. So the first thing we need to do here is to create a database. You can see Drivers Express launches as a wizard, which means we get these great tool tabs. So the database is where your information about your projects is stored. That's great. I have a folder on my desktop called Drivers Express. And we'll just call this database demo. Next we choose which model we want to use. So I can browse for a model or I can just use the model I have open. So we see now the captured models. It's, it's an extrusion. Um, this is the name of my part, extrusion. So moving on, we decide what we want to actually configure. So I'm just going to select a few dimensions here. I'll just click on it in the graphical window and then name it. So this will be, we'll call it width. Add that one in. Then height. And finally, we'll add in a length. All right, so once we have all our dimensions featured in, we can move on to the form. The form is what you're going to see when you go to create this new part. So we can add something like a width option and decide how we want to put this in. We can have a numeric text box, we can have spin buttons, uh, checkboxes aren't really for adding in values or for disabling or en enabling things, but um, the numeric text box in this case would sort of create some, some odd issues. There's probably not likely a you know 2.044 inch extrusion and we probably don't want to create the tooling to make that extrusion. So what I'm going to do instead is a drop down box. And I'm going to say this can only be two, three, or four inches. We'll just hit create and that's been added. I'll do the same thing with height. Let's do a drop down box. Let's say it's either two, three, or four. And finally with length, we have a little more flexibility here. We can cut to fit. So I'm going to add a numeric text box. This is going to ask for a number. So there's going to be a minimum and maximum value for this. Uh, the minimum we could say is zero, um, or we could be a little more realistic and say we're probably not going to have one shorter than maybe an inch you know, at the very minimum. Maximum, let's say 20 feet, so 240 inches. It's going to kind of lock us in a certain range. All right, so we can test this form out and just see what the form looks like. We can select a three by two uh, with a length of, we'll see if I try to do 255. We get a little error message here and it tells me exactly what my length needs to be between. So if I could change it to say 120. Design that, all right, everything looks good. So once we have our, our form in to collect the requirements for the model, we can go ahead and create our rules. So our rules are going to be what really decide how this new model is created. It's going to tell us what we need and what we're missing. Uh, so we're missing four total. We can simply check this total at the end here and click edit rules. And then just walk through each one. So we'll start with the first one. It's a file name. So we need to tell this what we want this to be, what the file name result is going to be. So what I want this to look like is width. I'm going to put an and sign in. Then times height, another ampersand in there, times length. Looks like I missed an ampersand. All right, so this is going to be our original file name. And then it's going to have, well, I believe the equal sign will give us our original file name. 
and then append it with the width times height times length. So your result, you're just going to see two x's here because these are variable. It doesn't have anything to put in yet. So we'll say OK with there. So now it's asking us for our width, height, and length. And although we've defined these already, we've, we've told DriveWorks which dimensions are going to be the width, the height, and the length. What we haven't really put in is on our form. So on our form inputs, what do we want our width to be? Just the width from the form input. Same for height. And again for length. All right, now that we have everything good to go, we can see all our rules that we need here are uh, showing as valid. We can just go ahead and run this. And let's say we're going to create a, a 3 by 4 extrusion, uh, and it's going to be 10 feet long. Simply click Create. It's going to actually create this part. We can see it is 3 by 4. The name we can see here at the top, extrusion, 3 by 4 by 120. That's exactly what we wanted. And if I actually look into this folder, wherever my database is stored, that's where those files are going to go. So I now have a new file called extrusion 3 by 4 by 120. So as you can see, DriveWorks Express is a very simple product to use. It is great for your average user who is creating simple parts and changing them up. There's no real limit to how many dimensions and what you want to add in. There are some limits to uh, what you might want to do moving forward as far as assemblies, different configurations of assemblies, and especially moving into the, the separate DriveWorks software, you'll be able to have a web-based interface where you can do this on the fly on your smartphone. So if you have uh, maybe a sales engineer or sales rep uh, out speaking with a customer, they can get an accurate quote right away. And moving on from there, we can actually embed this into a website so your customers can build all of this themselves. You set the rules up, you set the limits, they build it, it comes to you, and you'll have everything they need to create a quote. So, thank you for listening on this video tech tip. If you need any help or support with DriveWorks, feel free to reach out to us at 888 or support at trimac.com.